You're watching Christine Stoddard's New York. I'm here at the Coney Island Clown School with Humanette, one of the students. So, why are you taking classes here? What inspired you? So, I've been working as a performing clown for a while, and I'm kind of obsessed with it, and I always want to refine my class and my, my uh, refine my acts. Um, and I love Coney Island. I see shows here all the time. I love the sideshow here. Um, so I was very excited when I heard they were doing the clown school. And when did you find out? How long have you been planning to take this school? Um, I guess a couple of months ago. Um, I wanted to do the uh, sideshow school, but I forgot to sign up in time. And this time I was just like, I will not make that mistake again. <laughs> So why do you think clowning is important, relevant, or just plain fun today? So I think um, it is an especially bleak time. I don't know if everybody across history has always thought that way, but I feel like now we're really right that it's extra bleak. Um, or at least we're more aware of all the bleak stuff going on. So we need joy so much. Um, and also... I think what, something very important about it is that it reminds people that rules can be broken. It reminds people to be creative, to not take what's prescribed to them, to think outside the box, to be mischievous, to break rules. Um, and I think that is a very important skill in a bleak world if you want anything not bleak to happen. Thank you so much. Hi, Kat. Hi, how are you? Great. So why clowning? Um, why clouding? I started out as a juggler, actually. I was a juggler for like eight or more years, and then I got more into fire performing. Um, and I actually, um, yeah, like kept getting typecasted as a clown almost. People <laughs> kept asking me, I think I give natural clown energy. Like at first I wanted to be like really cool and really serious and be like, no, I'm doing this as a serious act. I actually had an act that I did where I cool hooped on top of a rollable and like sang a song about science on my ukulele and I had no and I had no idea it was a clown act I literally rehearsed this act for like a year at my house like really it's like also kind of hard to like a cool hoop on a rollable edge you know what a rollable no. is it's like a balance board it <laughs> okay, has like okay. a cylinder on the yes. bottom and then like yes. a balance board on the top so I like bounce on this thing with my ukulele and a hula hoop and I trained probably like an hour a day for like six months to get this down and then like finally debuted my act and I just thought I was being like super cool. <laughs> I was like, this is a really cool skill. Um, and then after the show, it was at the Bindle Stiff open stage for Heidi show, and then after the show, I had a couple female clowns come up to me and be like, it's so great to see like a new young like female clown getting into this. And I was shocked. I was like, oh, that was a clown act. Like, I thought I was being super serious. But then at that moment, yeah, like realized what clowning is. I didn't really realize what clowning is. A lot of times you associate it with like the makeup or the costume. So like I wasn't doing it in intentionally as a clown, so I didn't realize, so then I realized that I kind of just naturally was a clown, and then when Cody Allen was having a clown school, I was like, you know what, Kat? I think this is your calling. I think yeah. you naturally yeah. are a clown. You kind of always have been a clown, so we <laughs> might as well do it officially. <laughs> so then what is a clown? Um, a clown is kind of a state of mind, I think. Like, clowning is just being really playful and really embracing authenticity. I think that's really important. And I think, like, a lot of days people will, like, take things, like, very seriously and have yeah. a hard time, like, being vulnerable and being authentic. So I think clowning is this state of mind where you're always being really playful um, and you're not taking yourself too seriously and you're just being really authentically yourself. I love that. Thank you, Kat. Hi, Joe. Oh, hi. First of all, I love the necklace. Tell me about it. Oh, thank you. This is um, made by uh, one of the friends of the of the, um, the, the, the the clown school. It is a clown nose uh, that we wear. <laughs> and it's... Um, it's more of uh, just a place to put it while I'm not working. It definitely looks like a fashion accessory. It does. It does. Yeah. So why are you here? Uh, well, I um I I am a clown uh, and a uh, burlesque and sideshow performer from Baltimore. And Balmer. Balmer, hun. I said Bal <laughs> I said Balmer last night, and 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 someone said where, and then I said Maryland. And he said, what did you say? Merlin. Merlin. Balmer Merlin. Yeah, no, from Baltimore, Maryland. I am from Baltimore, Maryland. 
Um, so yes, um, I do. Uh, I do the Weird Joe Sideshow, um, and I it's a it's a comedy magic um, kind of. Mm, farcical mutilation sort of routine. Mutilation? What's that? Well, I do some um, gargling of razor blades, some fish hooks in my mouth. Um, I do a staple gun uh, roulette routine on my body. Um, and things of that nature. And what motivates or inspires you to do that? I used to be a kid's <laughs> birthday party clown, and I found that um, as I matured, so did my material. And I enjoy the shock, the awe, and the, um, the admiration that I get from just being ridiculous. I was also a birthday party clown a long time ago. Yeah. So do you find that there's something subversive or that there can be about clowning? Oh, for sure. Um, clowning, for me, is uh, it's, it's just another form of expression. Um, it is a it is a way of um, characterizing um, anything. I can bring up pretty much any subject matter, and if I do it right, uh, handle it correctly, then I can. Um, then it definitely has a place. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. All right, hi River. Hi. Apparently, you're very gung ho about things, as you were just telling me a moment ago. <laughs> Why is that? Um, so I trained as an actor uh, first. I, you know, started doing musical theater at about ten, and started specifically training in it at like sixteen. Uh, I did the Stella Adler summer teen conservatory, and I went to I went to college starting with musical theater. Um, and so I learned very early on, it is the most fun when you are physically putting yourself in. I, there is no such thing as dignity. There is no such thing as, oh God, what if I look stupid? Because if you hide yourself through that, then A, I think you're not going to get as much as you can out of it. And B, then you are not being honest with yourself or with your teacher or with your friend or your professor or whomever you are working with, your director. You're not really putting yourself all in. And, you know, granted, am I perhaps a little too gung-ho about <laughs> involving my, about volunteering and or possible embarrassment or harm? Maybe, sure, one could argue. But, you know, it, it's important to me to really get up and try to be as not only emotionally and intelligently engaged, but as physically engaged as I can. Yeah, yeah. And it also seems like clowning demands that, demands <laughs> vulnerability, demands honesty. Could you speak to that? Oh, God, can I? Um, I am very new to clowning. Uh, I didn't even really understand modern clowning, aside from I went and saw Ringling, you know, when I was 12. Uh, I didn't really know much about modern clown up until very recently when I started attending Clown Cult over in Bushwick. Uh, I went to the first three, and I, you know, had a couple tangential... What is that? Clown Cult is a variety show uh, out in Brooklyn. Uh, it is drag, burlesque, clown okay. side show. It is a whole bunch of everything. It is a ritual. It is a, you know, it's the silliest cult this side of the planet, possibly the galaxy. Uh, and it's run by this clown called Chucky Sleaze. She... <laughs> She is not only an incredible performer and a fantastic showrunner, but a really phenomenal, like, supportive friend. And so I went and I saw the first three and very tangentially knew people and was like, hi, oh, yeah, I'm River. And I had, if I may, for a brief second. I, sure. Uh, Can't wait. Oh, okay. Whoa. Um, I got this uh, and I had to miss a couple. Went back in August. Uh, of this year, and Chucky picked me out from the nose in the crowd and said, River, I know your deal. I remember you from the first few that you came here. How have you been? And welcomed me back in with open arms. <laughs> and that sort of open and welcoming communal aspect of it, the community aspect of the encouragement of clowns, brought me in 
initially, and then slowly over time, over the past couple months, I've been asking, hey, how can I be helpful? How can I volunteer? How can I be there to help set up a breakdown? How can I be there to help make the show run smoothly? And that turned into conversations of Chucky going, all right, when? And I go, when, when are you getting up there and doing something stupid? Yeah, and yeah. so uh, now you know, I wanted to take the opportunity to learn about all of this. Yeah. And to answer your question, you know, all of this requires honesty, community, yes. uh, supportive nature. Yes. Community. So how are you finding community at clown school? Oh, my God. How am I not? Everybody is truly, truly wonderful. Uh, I came in knowing Humanette, uh, but otherwise I was a blank slate for this. And I have been so pleasantly surprised by not only how wonderful and how kind and how generous people are with their time and with you know their vulnerability to do all of this, but also just how much fun we are all having outside of classes. We've all sort of just hunkered down and been like, all right, where are we going to get dinner, folks? Do we want to go watch a movie over in the freak bar? Do we want to go grab pizza down the street? Do we want to you know, go do something communally as a group so that we can all build as a troop together as an alley and all just be here, not only with the common goal of learning, but with the common goal of really learning together. I love that. Thank you, River. You've been watching Christine Stoddard's New York. Until next time.